I think so that it's the best day of my life because when I run I live I live when I run I listen to my breath and the space and it's wonderful we're coming from different countries different languages different cultures running just connects us all and it doesn't really matter where you come from. I met all these people for the first time yesterday and now we're friends. Jessica Stahl Norris and I'm from Sweden. My name is Wendy Sille from South Africa, Johannesburg. Eric Domingo and I am from Spain. Katja van der Burg and I'm from Leipzig in Germany. My name is Sven Weymaas. I live in Hilversum, a town in the Netherlands. My name is Mariana. I was born in Brazil, but now I'm living in Portugal. Ivan, I'm from France. My name is Olga. I'm 65 years old. I am from St. Petersburg, Russia. Pete Stables and I'm from Bath in the UK. My name is Marco and I come from Italy. So I told myself, okay, so if I want to do something great in my life, uh, if I want to just empty my mind, okay, I'll just try to do something crazy like this. Wow, here it is, London, Paris. I'm the French guy from the London to Paris challenge. I have lived in Paris like all my life. I know it's going to be insane because it's like the challenge of a lifetime. It's the challenge of my lifetime. I'm a mother of three boys and I work full time. I got a very nice husband who makes sure I can run. I love adventures. Running London to Paris is like the best adventure ever. I've been running now for, um, I think over 15 years. And I started running five kilometers and I thought, okay, how about 10? And then how about 21? And how about 42? And 42 become 89, and 89 become 161, and now it's going to become 420. Something that I've never, ever, ever done in my, in my life. I used to run 50k, 40k a week, and now I'm doing this by day, so <laughs> it's quite challenging for me. I think that a lot of people think we are crazy doing this. I run marathons on my own, but I also run with my mom. She's in a wheelchair, she has uh, multiple sclerosis. And I run with her two marathons. Last one, it was uh, one month ago, more or less. Just to share my, my hobby and try to make feel her that she's running too. Started a long time ago when uh, I got my first son. I started running um, to be fit, you know, to make uh, myself an example for him uh, and that just um, kept building up. I have an office job so I sit at my desk all day and I just need to get out and get moving uh, in the fresh air. I do lots of other sports and I, I like that too like skiing and mountain climbing and uh, triathlon but running is like at the core that's that's what I always get back to because that's what I am. I have a lot of work. I, was, uh, I didn't uh, do any sport. My life was terrible, I think. Running has fundamentally changed my life. And most importantly, running gives me a new quality of life. I used to run after my work. My work uh, is uh, a little bit complicated. I restore and fix. Uh, all the paint, oil paintings and fresco works. I run because it's my relief valve. I come from a powerlifting background and in the world of powerlifting, 
big strong people tend to look down on runners who are seen as small and weak. And what I've found since I started running that runners are a very, very strong breed. running for like uh, three and a half hours started very early to uh, catch the sunrise which was really nice but we are all very hungry now i'm always hungry man i'm especially hungry now yeah definitely hungry Tough, more than 10k that we expected, but well, we're a team, we're a family, and we'll do it. Yeah! Yeah! Come on, we're not there yet! Come on! And immediately we stopped frequently, I got frustrated. Mm -hmm. It's really hard for me, for example, to walk at seven minutes per kilometer. So everything starts hurting. I got frustrated today as well, but not because it was going too slowly or because we stopped too frequently, but because I think we didn't really work very well as a team. I did not think this would happen in the very first day when we didn't have any really big problems. And I can guarantee you, we will get really big problems. And people shouldn't have to feel um, embarrassed or like yeah. pushed. Yeah. If you're having a problem, you have to go at your own pace. But if you're feeling good, you're having a good day, then you just have to manage going slow and taking care of others. That's part of the game. You have to learn. We don't divide the group. I'm, uh, I don't want to do that. I just say, we need to find a solution for it. I mean, I was literally dragging Olga. Because I could see the gap was like opening and opening wider yeah. and wider and wider and wider. Yeah. Six and a half, not, uh, not, not six faster. And a half. Not faster. Okay. There's too much frustration and everybody is too like, we have to get this done, we have to get this done. That's not how it's going to work. We have to yeah. let go. We have to make a good plan. I really want to do it. I want to do this then. So, but if I need to walk a little bit, I, want to, I don't want to feel guilty and push on. I would just walk like three Ks instead and then we'll see what happens. So we're going to get there while we're in time as well. We've got all goddamn day. We all try to stay together. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. At six thirty. You get to run ten marathons in ten days with ten people from ten different countries. You know. Let, let Enjoy it. it. Let it. I was born ready. <laughs> Let's go. Where are you going? To Paris. I'm feeling so good, and I'm looking forward to run the marathon of today. Yeah. <laughs> Today is a very good day, great day. We run and we see I'm feeling the nature. <laughs> I feel strong. Hey! hey. Oh. I have some hard pain in my knee. And uh, I, don't, I don't think, I don't know if I can keep going. I think within a kilometer already, um, he was already feeling the pain. I was thinking about quitting, but uh, no, I can't. I have something in my mind and in my heart that is telling me that if I'm not putting my health in danger, 
I can uh, give running, so let's see what happens. Come here. Oh, the wind is like the best, isn't it? <laughs> he came to my room this morning. Yeah. And he was working on my hamstrings. I swear the people in the next room must have wondered what the hell was yeah. going on. It was I loud. We are almost there. 42k more. Today was so mental. And we were a team. And we're about to get it today. You can be so proud of yourself today because you did something special to just for one person. Yeah. And I just want to say thank you and have a big applause for all of you. Okay? Oh, yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, we just uh, had like two hours up hills. Uh, now there's some downhills. Wonderful. It's worth the view, but it sucks for running if you've been running for so long. That's true. A lot of kilometers to do so, but uh, I just uh, remain positive. I think everyone is. Just keep moving. The, the English countryside is amazing. First time for me here, and uh, it's a great experience. Just need a tight. And a pizza. pizza. And ice cream. And ice cream. Chocolate. Generation or donuts. I'm hallucinating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there are gonna be some tough moments and some easy moments. But I just I just wanna I just see in my head the very smart of finish line, so it's here. And we're just heading towards the coast, so we'll drop down into Lewis, which is the town before the port that we're going to reach before we jump onto the ferry and cross over to Dieppe and start our first day in France. Woo! And look, there's the sea. We're going to cross over to France. <laughs> That, that's always what's happening if you think you're really close and then there's just a big gate and you have to go up the hill and back the hill and around, so yeah. So how far are we today? Yeah, 65 and a half kilometers. Oh my god. Uh, 67. Bloody hell. Three gates to go. <laughs> get a total of 70 for the day. Not too bad for a day's running. Yeah. I'm so tired, it was so long day. We met, we catch the, the rain in the last part, but it was a so great day. Made it through the UK leg, barely, uh, and now we're on the ferry traveling from New Haven to Dieppe, which is about a four hour journey, uh, and then we are gonna run straight off the ferry and to our first destination, which is about 37k. We'll be doing that at about four o'clock, so we should get in at some point late this evening, get some food straight to bed, and then we'll do another marathon the next day. So, first time is my no, childhood.
we have 27 to go, I think. And uh, yeah, I think we have like one and a half hours of daylight left. After that, it's going to be quite dark. It's getting to get colder. And um, as you can see, we are walking right now. So yeah, I'm a bit afraid it's going to be a, a long day for us. In my mind, I just keep having the finish line of Paris Marathon and hear the voice of my mom telling me don't stop and keep going. Don't stop and keep going. Neuf Châtel Ombre. No, no, no. Say it proper French. Neuf Châtel Ombre. Neuf Châtel Ombre. Yes, you. Sorry, never seen pain. I don't have energy anymore. I'm not used to run at this time. So we're just focusing. Right, left, right, left, forward, forward. I'm just starving without water. I think so that it's the best day of my life. And it's true. Uh, because when I run, I live. I live when I run. I listen my breath. I listen my breath and the space, and it's wonderful. I feel the freedom in my body and freedom in my spirit. Had a bit of a breakdown yesterday evening and tensions here and there, but uh, everybody was really tired. Don't talk back to me. It's like, oh, you're a little bit hurt. In the truck. Yeah. Not wrong, not I think there's just some miscommunication problems. Everybody means well and uh, people looking out for each other's health. Day five today. Um, I'm going to navigate us uh, to the next stop. And uh, once we're done, we're halfway, which feels really good. I think if everybody gets past this day, we'll all make it to Paris. You gonna push me to my breaking point. That's a hard fact. We had an agreement, you got greedy, then you double back. We are walking and we've been walking since the start and everybody's really cold. Just need an emergency blanket right now. I'm feeling so cold. I mean, physically speaking, I'm good. Mentally speaking, I wouldn't say anything. So it's either... I start running and do something at some point or just uh, whatever, I'm just gonna wait somewhere at some point and cry by myself. Just wanted to get over and done it. We have to have a talk and we have to make some decisions now. There's a lot of tension in your team right now, as I understood. Everyone has different approaches to react when they are exhausted and, and this often leads to like arguing, screaming at each other and acting like you normally wouldn't act. It's 10 days, everyone is having ups and downs and there will be people that maybe walk all day today, they will run again tomorrow. So the group plans are, some of us are going to run, some of us are going to walk in horrendous weather it's gonna suck what you achieved already is just amazing if you run it if you walk it if you somehow get there as long as you're 10 people in paris at the end all is good i think he voiced what uh, all the different opinions in the group are what gets you to the finish line is what gets you to the finish line the better that's help from other people or just your own mentality of just going out there and doing it. The only thing that matters is that we get to the finish line just with the 10 of us.
So happy. Ah. <laughs> My hero. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, that's day five done. Yes. In the books on to day six. Yeah. And I'm ready for tomorrow morning for a new stage. Right now, it's day six. That means five days done, five days to go. We are going to Paris. I can only already see the end. I can already see the end. Pain. Pain in the Achilles. Pain is all in the mind. We're good to go with the smile. Every day I run and try to beat, but happy. <laughs> I almost there. I almost can see the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> We're done! We did it! Ah! Did it! Ah! Did it! Ah, so happy. Oh, thinking about the first days when I was struggling so much and now feeling stronger and happy, so oh my god. Just four left. Just four. Let's go! It's a letter from my from my parents. <laughs> um oh. oh god. Hi babe, this is from my husband. <laughs> Dear Dad. In five days we'll see each other again and then you'll get the biggest hug in the whole world. Proud to be your daughter. And making me realize that you are my super dad. <laughs> From my son. Oh, that's my boy. <laughs> oh man, I miss you and I love you. I know that my parents believe in me and uh, support me in every moment and every my decision. I really didn't expect this from from anyone, in, well, from my mother to, to say something like this. As long as they're proud of me, and then, then that's good. I don't care what the rest of the world thinks. <laughs> he said before that I'm really crazy doing this, and um, I think uh, now he's uh, really following every step we do. I have a dream, and I, I think uh, those kind of things that I'm doing here just make me feel stronger to arrive in uh, my goal in my life. And it it's, feels like people are telling me, okay, oh, you're inspiring me now. It, it's just crazy because I, I'm not trying to inspire anyone. I'm just trying to uh, get involved into the inspiration that I was looking for. You cannot even know how happy it makes me feel. If I, I can do something great with running, uh, I'm just going forward and do it with all my heart to say that anything is possible. Anyone can do anything. So no, don't ever let anyone tell you not to be able to do anything or you can't do anything, because that's not true. You can. And as hard as this is, it's one of the best experiences of my life. Like, like every part of my body hurts, but um, I just want to get there. I have to finish what I started. Quite excited. I'm looking forward to the next remaining days. Thirty-three, thirty-three. The shorter, the shorter. So happy for it. <laughs> Marco. Hello. 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 <laughs> Hello. Well, everything's not so bad. It's just funny at the moment. <laughs> hey. Are you going by your right? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Uh,
The road ahead, it twists and turns And the sun beats down and it burns But I keep, keep on pushing through We're flying today And every step quicker than the last Best day ever <laughs> Path and a key. <laughs> I'm not doing that. That's what it feels like to run at the moment. And I may fall <sighs> right back down, but you love me back to solid ground. Yeah, I get up. We're on day eight now, so we are doing a long run today, 50k, uh, but tomorrow means that we're reaching Paris, where we're going to meet a teammate, so um, yeah, it feels uh, good. Today's going to be hard, it's going to be long, I'm just happy to be done with this thing as well. <laughs> it's been a long week, man, it's been a real long week, but we're going to do it. Yeah. You got, you Together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it's sunny, we will get a sunset. Woo Let's do it. I'm so Swedish. I'm like, sometime. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. I don't care. Three days to go. <laughs> the more I suffer, the more I smile, so I don't yeah. think it's a good sign. <laughs> That's what he said. So basically Olga, very, very soon, she started having a, a lot of pain. So we had to wait for her for a long time. Just stay behind her so that we can make sure that she's going to be okay. She was there uh, crying a little bit in, uh, in secret. So it's very painful to see. But at some point she didn't want to give up. So it's her choice. I would like to finish today slowly, but let's do it. So maybe she's just a little bit behind, but she she's gonna be ahead of us very soon because we'll we'll uh, finish this uh, this stage all together. We are so happy for this stage. We worked like a real group uh, and uh, arrived to the finish line with a big smile. Uh, for me, the best day today. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, the plan today is just to make sure that she's going to be okay. Uh, basically, we don't want her to be hurt, both um, physically and mentally. And she's like in the edge, uh, in the both categories. Of in pain. Yeah, I'm great. He's good, I'm yeah. in pain. Achilles, knee, hamstring, quad on the left side, it's bad. Other than that though, nothing. I'm good. <laughs> it's just everything below the waist. Yeah, <laughs> basically. We're running into Paris, man. That should motivate you. Paris Marathon is like a big bonus. And yeah, looking oh. forward to meet the different runners. I have all of the French team just looking forward to seeing us there and just cross the finish line all with us. So we're going to meet with the other front burners and yes, obviously my family is going to be there as well, so yeah, super excited now. <laughs>
I think the Paris Marathon, exactly, it's just a bonus, you know? We ran from London all the way to Paris. We'll do one last marathon and then we're done. You know, we, we, we did it. This won't be a race, it just won't, will be like an accomplishment. I'm still super grateful for this whole journey, for this adventure, and I don't regret anything, even if it's a little bit of pain involved sometimes. It's just um, fantastic, and um, yeah, I love every single minute of it. I don't know, it just feels extra special. I've never done anything this hard, and it's been worth every single step, every painful step. And as hard as this is, it's one of the best experiences of my life. Definitely. I'm excited, man. I'm excited. This is uh, this is the epitome of everything. This is the last day, and it feels so good to be here. So we start as a family, and we're gonna finish as a family. So ten days, ten marathons, ten people, ten good people. Let's enjoy. Uh, crazy nine days, but so worth it. So worth it, bro. Just going to be painful and beautiful in the same time. It's another marathon, another day. <laughs> what else am I going to do? Is it going to be a mix of feelings? Because I'm, well, I'm feeling some pain, but I'm going to be so happy for all of us. So I don't know if I'm going to cry, but... I'm gonna feel so emotional. <laughs> Everyone's feeling so great, actually. Uh, I think we just are overcoming pain so far. I mean, we're all here. No split up so far. Everyone just like sticking to the to the group. Uh, it's the best way we can ever imagine yet. Ten days ago, Sorry. Big Ben and now Eiffel Tower. It's been tough. We only got 13 to go, man. We can do it. We'll make it. Otherwise, we'll carry you. We just keep running, and I wouldn't have thought this was possible after nine marathons, honestly. I'm so proud of everybody. Doing it, man. Last 10k. Awesome. I'm really, really blessed and honored to run with these guys. They're so amazing. I said the first day, I know, quit. And I didn't. Doing it, man. Oh. <laughs> I'm tired, I'm not gonna lie. I'm so happy and I love this team. I feel like 500 meters to happiness now. We are gonna be over. I don't know if I'm excited or sad. A little bit of both at the same time, I guess. London to Paris! London to Paris! I'm happy, I'm tired. We made it! Can people can name? This is awesome!